This is Tell Me What to Read, the podcast of booktopia.com.au. I'm Nick Wasiliev, and I'm delighted to be back for another Friday discussion. You may notice that the audio quality is a lot better than what it normally is because for the first time in a long time, I'm back in a studio, but it's not my own studio. <laughs> uh, I'm at the audio recording studio at Sydney University, and I'm joined today for a very special book podcast with members of Sydney Uni's Media and Communication Society, Adam Fertle. Woo, happy to be here. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and Ruby McGindy. Hello. Nice to have you both here. <laughs> Guys, welcome and thanks for hosting me as I host you. Yay, yeah, thank welcome. you for coming. Thank you. you found your way very well. We're impressed. So Yes, it was very strange to be back on campus. For for context, I, I have been out of uni for five years in the in the big bad world. At and your fossil fuel age. <laughs> <laughs> I know, the age of, of twenty eight. And it is very strange to be doing this in three D. I must say I'm used to just a screen mm-hmm. and seeing you in two D but happy to uh, see our pretty faces. Yes. Yeah. So what do you first of all I wanna know because obviously you're with Sydney Unis Media and Comms mm-hmm. Society, what do you get up to there? Well, we honestly, like, it's a very social society, I would say. Definitely. And it's very tight knit. Um, the exec especially we're all like a little I don't want to say family because that's kind of like red flag vibes, but we're all really, really close (laughs) to each other. We all love each other very much. Like the Edward Cullen family. No, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's the perfect way to describe it. I like it. You were were Bella, I would say, maybe. So you just came came in after getting bitten. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how you describe it. I think, yeah. I was bit. (laughs) (laughs) That is how the recruitment works is you get bitten and you kind of like get in. But the Miko Sock, it's like, I feel like it's a good balance between social events and like networking so a lot of it they kind yeah. of like try and get you um in touch with mm. network profession like um industry professionals and stuff like that so there's panel events and stuff so it's really really good but also it's really fun like everyone just mm. gets along really well it's yeah. so easy to meet people mm-hmm. and that's how you like you meet a lot of your yeah. friends in uni through exactly. societies yeah it's networking you know. networking is king in the world I it is say that in a nutshell which is amazing it is yes but we're here to just dis- to discuss books today yeah the, i know yes. so full disclosure and i find it ironic that i say this i am a terrible reader uh, having mentioned this uh, but uh, i own it i accept uh, it leave. however <laughs> wait, how do we know? <laughs> but i was fortunate when i actually got to uni it was when i actually started to enjoy Mm. reading a little mm-hmm. bit more mm. maybe because i kind of had that realization when you're at school you have to like study text and you have to like oh, i yeah. have to do it yeah, yeah. but then Utopia hates books <laughs> no 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 I, u- I used to and I, 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 I should have started that question with this claim <laughs> saying i used to hate reading but now i'm like oh i can actually read what i want and Yay. then suddenly it's great so what's your tell me i'll start with you adam first yeah. what was your reading experience were you always a reader or did you kind of only have grown into it recently well that's a very interesting question um thank you i honestly i was not an avid reader when i was younger i think i religiously and exclusively read harry potter because i could trust harry potter i knew (laughs) harry potter and i'd even seen the movies before i read the book so like I did that. I remember reading The Hobbit one time and being like, oh, I'm really smart. I read The Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even try The Lord of the Rings. I looked at it. I was like, what the fuck is going on? You're giving on? me Lord of the Rings. Vibe yeah, now. I did. I, no, like, I was actually like a dummy when I was, like, I'm still a bit of a dummy low key, but like, I did not read a lot, to be honest. And then, honestly, like, year 10. No, no. Literally, I'll be honest, Nick, last year. No, oh my God. Like, <laughs> last you year. You read like 60 books. I read last 60 year. books last year, I did. That's um, a solid effort. Yeah. During lockdown, um, my friend, Ashley, I will name Ashley. Um, <laughs> we actually <laughs> were friends in primary. No, she actually bullied me in primary school. So <laughs> but anyway, we rekindled our friendship because we worked like in stores next to each other. And she's a huge reader. And mm. she got me into reading during lockdown. And I froth the fuck over it during lockdown. Mm. Every day I would walk and read kind of thing and that would be like the only thing I would do. And now it's become like a part of my everyday, like on the bus this morning, reading, except there was a a cute guy so I got a bit distracted, but I was reading a little bit um, (laughs) on the bus home, on the train kind of thing. And then before I go to sleep, to help me get to sleep, I have a bit of a read as well. So yeah, it's very embedded in my life now, I would say. I love that. My Mm. reading story is very different. So, um... (laughs) My mom's always really been into reading, like my nana, like that side of the family. And so my mom always bought me these books and I'd always read halfway and stop. <laughs> so I have about 70 yeah. books that I've read halfway <laughs> throughout my, like, before the age of like mm-hmm. 14. Mm. Um, I have a really big bookshelf of like 
pages that are tagged yeah. halfway. No, but like <laughs> books that mums buy for birthdays. I don't know where. There's I like there must the be a special section. Me. There must be a special section. I don't know how it works. <laughs> it's, it's like the books on the sale because no one wants to buy it. Yeah. Anyway. 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 Um. Yeah. So and then I was like, you know, like fourteen. What pad? Yeah. Need I say more? Oh, what pad? Slope. Slippery slope. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not like the fan fiction world had me in a chokehold. Mm-hmm. Fan fiction is amazing. Yeah, yeah, May I used to read the One Direction one. I was gonna say the One yeah. Direction. Do you have a particular favorite couple? Babysitting One Direction. Oh. So she was like, I don't even, I don't know how I remember this. This is like a fever dream to me. She was like twenty one, and then like. <laughs> the producers of One Direction wanted them to have like someone to look after them because oh, they didn't trust them no. to like not get up to, Naughty to like get things. up to yeah. yeah. Um, and so she was like looking after them, and then she like and then fell in like love with like a multiple of them, no. and it was just, like oh, like a love not triangle just Harry. or something. <laughs> As anyway. you do. Oh, and I don't blame. Was. I don't blame. No, Niall for sure though. <laughs> no, I was a. I was actually a. Louis? Yeah. Oh, Louis. No. Louis. Ah, that's really embarrassing, I'll be honest. <laughs> you only did it to be different, though, right? No, I... Anyway. <laughs> anyway, okay, anyway, you like rap boys, Moving sure. on. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, wrong with, nothing wrong with rap boys. So, I, so uh, my next question yeah. was going to be, like, well, what do you gravitate towards? I now know your answer. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> no, it's not I even moved funny. on. Okay, I it's, moved on no. to books. That were just yeah. the published version of what <laughs> <laughs> Like, like full hardcore, like, porn books. Like, no! <laughs> we'll uh, there no. are some amazing trash books out there. Yeah, there no, are. There's I, more trash books than good books. I read, a, like, like a large variety, right? Like, I'll read philosophy. I'll read classic. I'll read Wattpad. Yeah, but you don't talk about the classic or the philosophy. You only talk you because only they're talk. not as interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, when Karl Marx said, or it could be like <laughs> Penelope Douglas. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But fair what enough. did Harry think about this? Harry Styles. Yeah. That's that question. Oh. You don't want to talk about Harry? You look, I love your so heart just subject. Your, your heart just fell. No. I just saw it. <laughs> He's filming new music video, guys. So apparently he was spotted in London. So like new music coming soon. Ooh. Yes, please. What do you go for? I don't know. Um, your get out of bed? I usually like. It's all word of mouth. I literally just take people's recommendations, to be honest. I don't... Uh, very rarely do I go to a book store and buy a book. I, I don't like reading blurbs yeah. of books. I feel like it really... Because like, it's always like up to halfway in the book. Mm. Like yeah, a blurb like, and that's like... That's sucky. That really is sucky. Because I want to go in just like knowing it's a good book and going in blind kind of thing. So I usually go off either what Ashley says or like what my mother tells me. My mother, I'm very, yeah, apprehensive sometimes when she tells me of a book recommendation. But these days I think she's more attuned to what I like. My mum keeps telling me to read The Potato Pill Society or whatever it is. I never heard of it. Mate. Neither have ne- I. It's about so, yeah, a very eclectic mix, I would say. I have not dipped into Ruby's um, porn books yet. I don't read porn books. We'll there see. is no shame. In it. You can be happy in yeah. who you are. We don't. No, I'm sure they're good. Like, <laughs> I like even like I'm sorry, but like Red, White, and Royal Blue is pretty much a porn book, but like with like politics in there a little bit. Ooh, it's a decent book. It's it is a decent book. book. It's a decent book. Yeah, it's fun. But it's been sitting cut, out, <laughs> cut out all the politics. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. no. Are we going down that road? No, 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 I can no. I can see. <laughs> no, I just I was just really invested in the love story. So when yeah, I was, okay. When you I was were invested reading, in the love when story. I was, no, I, I, yeah, was. I read books for the plot. No, I was honestly <laughs> invested in Alex and Henry. I really was. My housemate's reading it right now. There's a lot of intense <laughs> discourse about the two boys, um, but what, yeah. Are they on opposite sides of the political spectrum or something? No, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They're on opposite, opposite sides, sides of the of world. Of uh, so they have to FaceTime. Opposite sides of something. They have to FaceTime and be time. separate. Yeah, it's sucks. really sad. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's on. It sucks. Anyway, I, I do recommend that one. I think it's a good mix of what you like. Oh, so <laughs> I love I the way it's developed. Yeah, I love yeah. that we've already just started. Let's diving into book recommendations that we're recommending. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's I get all, right. all of my books from TikTok. I, the mm. book that I've like um, just bought. I haven't finished the book I'm reading now, but the book I just bought, I bought it because of this TikTok that had one line from the 
from <laughs> the book and said, oh, my God, read this book. And I read the line and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll read it. And I bought it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, didn't read it. I read the title you and I was like, yeah, so okay. so easy to convert. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's all, it's an awful sponsored? book. Oh. It's literally an awful book. Like, okay. The writing is so bad. No naming names. Me- have a read, have a read, see how it goes, right? Let's, so, okay, I'll throw to you first for this question of what are you, or books you have brought f- to our podcast today. But now I'm suddenly terrified, given your, your palette <laughs> that you bring along. No. What have you been reading, Ruby? I've been reading The Spanish Love Deception. Oh, that's nice. I'm literally 250 pages in, mm-hmm. and there's not even, like, a handhold. <gasps> what? Slow burn. You're giving you blue See, I told you, I don't, I don't read those books. Tell me anyway, more. Anyway, it's it's actually really good. I'm kind of in love with it. Yeah. The same to Aaron Blackford. Oh. <laughs> so you go straight into telling us about the guy and not the plot. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a good start. Yeah, I like my man with some plot. I don't like plot with my man. Um, oh. There we go. <laughs> Write that down as a quote. We're going to put that on a quote. <laughs> you have to put that... Like on the society's like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah page wherever you put it and be every like, time. <laughs> anyway, so they're like they're both engineers. We're in New York, mm-hmm. and she's she's from Spain. I'm actually learning Spanish, so I oh, can yeah. understand the bits that she says <laughs> in Spanish. Not to flex on you, but <laughs> probably just like see. Si. <laughs> and she's like, see, si, por Dios. <laughs> but I'm like, yes. For God. Because <laughs> 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 I didn't even know what Dios meant, but I was like, deity? Mm, Dios? It's helping you learn, which so is I good. So I was like, yeah. do you wear the lingo in my ass? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so they're like, she's like, her. the groom is, I'm not going to spoil anything, obviously, but the groom is, her, is the brother of her ex-boyfriend mm-hmm. and the best man is her ex-boyfriend. Mm. And so she's like, I haven't, like, got a new boyfriend and he's already engaged. Mm. Her ex is engaged. So she's like, everyone's going to pity me. Everyone's going to say, poor Catalina, poor Catalina. She hasn't moved on. He broke her heart. She's like, I can't deal with any of that. I cannot do that. So she needs to find a boyfriend. Can't really find anyone she likes. So she needs to find a fake boyfriend. Mm. Classic mm. Yeah. enemies. I can see where this is going. Enemies. Like, what's that they hate each other. They hate oh. each other. And they're like, they can't yep. stand each other. And they just got off the plane. That's where I'm up to. They just got off the plane oh, wow. mm-hmm. to go to Spain. 250 pages and then only now going to Spain. Slow burner. <laughs> oh, wow. But like, I can just feel yeah, the tension. There's a tension. There's, there's something it's going on. It's a slow on. burn. Yeah. Cause, like, Some books do jump into it. There was like break. an auction, right? Where he was, she's like, oh, I'll, he's like, I'll go with you to Spain for the weekend if you come to this auction with me. And he's like, you got to bid for me. It's like a charity thing. You bid to spend like, mm. a date with someone. She's like, oh, spend my money. She's like, huh, okay, I hate you. So she just like oh, spending all the money. Is he rich as well? I'm rich. Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. They're all rich. It, yeah, all right. Stay seated. <laughs> 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 Let's keep it there. Back down, rich. Sure. Um, <laughs> This book sounds amazing, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, it does. Would you it recommend does. it? Would you recommend it? Mm. If yes, I would. Yeah, okay. But so the tension starts at the auction, right? Because she has to bid for him, and this other girl wants to bid for him, and they're, like, Ooh. kind of bidding at each other, and she's, like, oh. giving her the side eye. Oh, she, so it's kind of like, like she's getting a bit, like... Jealous. What do you think jealous. So which I'm means like, she's oh, the tension's growing. Okay. Oh. And she, like, was, like, going on this diet, right? Because you know the whole trope where a guy's like, who did this to you? Or, mm. like, what are you doing to yourself? Mm. This trait, right? So she's like, like obsessed with dieting, and she's like, faints, and he's yeah. like, all protective, and he's like, no, how could you like? I'm yeah. gonna like get you through this, like. He's got so gonna buy her like a bowl of ice cream. He bought or her like a whole bunch of like tacos and everything. Oh. This is American, so oh, there's like Spanish. There you Spanish. go. Yeah. Oh wait, <laughs> wait that's fucking Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> They speak the same language. No, uh, they speak. That's Latin Spanish, but in Spain they speak Castilian Spanish, Castellano. I'm Come learning on, Adam. so much. <laughs> Thank Come you, on. Ruby. Thank you. Um, Books yeah. make you smart. Books good. Ma- they do. They <laughs> do. Anyway, he does the whole protective like mm-hmm. role, and I'm like, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Like, right. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what you want. Right. Tick, right. Tick, and what's his name? Boxes. Alex. His name is Aaron. Ar- oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Too it's many vowels for my liking. Too many A's. Word or, word or wishes it could use Aaron. That's a lot of vowels in there, to be honest. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
It sounds amazing though. Mm. Yeah, so it. that's my book that I'm currently reading. <sighs> the other one that I bought, but I only made like 10 pages in, it's called Your Dad Will Do. Uh, <laughs> do what? Do her. <laughs> like, she'll like. Like, her if I can't get you. cheated on her, so she's like, I'm going for your dad. Oh, I think we can infer, yeah. Should Lovely. We? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, Adam, your turn. <laughs> Look, oh. I love that you have a particular niche and you stick to it. <laughs> you, you keep on, you keep on trucking. There, there is a spectrum with, you know. It wasn't what I thought it was like. I thought it was going to be like plot and like, I thought it was going to be more like, um, or like forbidden romance, but it's just more like straight it's, up. No, and I'm it's, like, I don't so it's like basically it. like Lolita territory. Yeah, yeah, but this time it's like, it's like the opposite. Like she's But it's like they're both in, like consenting kind of. adults. Lolita well, is, well, it actually sounds Lolita, yeah, actually true. Lolita adults. is definitely not a consent. Yeah. Lolita is a very it's very loaded to me. I wrote it. It's yeah. beautifully written, like mm-hmm. very lyrical, but the contents behind scary. those lyrics. Fucked. But they make <laughs> you feel for him because like it's his like well not feel for him, but like <laughs> they make you That's it's a like ter- his perce- <laughs> Fuck, yeah. <laughs> Rewind, rewind. No, they put you in his shoes, and there's like that kind of like you you see his train of thought, and it's very yeah, it's a bit, it's, it's a very, bit it's very nuanced. It's very intense. Sure. It yeah. is nuanced. It is very intense. But we'll pivot over to you, Adam. Yeah, we'll pivot. We'll pivot. Um, tell me, what books have you brought along? So, oh, and they're actually in my backpack over there, but luckily I've memorised. <laughs> so I'm currently reading Boy Swallows Universe hey, by Trent Dalton. I know. I told you to read that. Yeah, she actually did. She came over to my house to take a piss with her dog, and then <laughs> <laughs> as she was leaving, she, was, she saw a bookshelf. She was like, oh, Boy Swallows Universe is one of my favourites. And then my housemate had been talking about it, and I was looking for a new book anyway, so I was like, I pick it up. I'm about 300 and like 20 pages in. Kind After of thing. page 400, wait, wow, yeah, things, things, you. Yeah. wait, really? Yeah. Oh dear. So he's just. I don't. We're wanna, not going to tell you that. No, We're not going to tell no, you. No, yeah. Spiel. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. But for those who haven't read it, it's kind of just um, a coming of age story about. A, he he says it's loosely based on his own life, which is what, really? pretty yeah. fucked. Like. Really had, insane kind of thing. I had no idea. Yeah, and it's kind of yeah. So Trent Dalton, he's like a journalist now, kind of thing. Um, and he he's quite prolific in Australia, and he um, yeah, it's kind of just his story about growing up in Queensland, I believe, and all of the crazy shit that happens to him with his like mother selling drugs and like it's just like it's it's. It's very beautifully written. The characters are very yeah. lively and very so complex. Like so, yeah. I don't know. It's they, very three dimensional. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and somehow it's it's hard to like read it on the bus because I'm like, this guy's getting his fucking like finger chopped off, and I'm just what on King Street through Newtown. <laughs> like I'm like, this That's is not me, like I look like, to the left, Italian bowls there, and his fingers getting chopped off. I'm like, this is not a very appropriate time for this to be happening. I need to be ensconced in my bed. You know, with a little hot chocolate or something to my side. With Kahlua in it. Yeah. No, How do you think I feel reading my books? Like, just like. I on think the you train. feel horny reading your books <laughs> on the train. <laughs> to be honest. Oh my god. I think, god. to be honest. And then, so that's my current read. It's going very well. I'm really enjoying it. Sometimes, you know, you're reading a book and there's a lull and you kind of like got to get through it. But no, I'm, I'm invested. I'm loving it. It's, it's really. Yeah, it's really, really well written. I think sometimes he definitely writes to be a writer, but that's who he is. Like, he's a writer at heart. He's so. a lovely human. Yeah. Have, Have you met be- him? I've met him twice. <gasps> what? <laughs> this is a book podcast. You do know that. We, we, the first one. Make a TikTok about his other book, like, True Love Stories or something? Is yeah, we've done a couple with love stories. So there's one. So I have a... a Funny, we were talking about uh, farms and stuff before we started. Um, <laughs> I actually have a farm, and we did a, a TikTok with at my house and I was just oh. walking along sitting down and we I have a tiny pony mm. oh. like a, it wouldn't get up to the size of the desk What's that we're on name? Teddy <gasps> and Teddy steals my, uh, my copy of Love Stories which is his most recent book that's Aww. really cute yes. it's his own love story yes it is a it is a love story in a nutshell Aww. but Trent is amazing he's yeah. probably like the the loveliest sweetest really? man you'll meet in yeah. real life yeah. he hugs everyone he's oh, loud and happy oh. he's, he's a sweetie pie we love oh, him that's we really? love Trent oh that's so really good because I feel like when I look at you know you look at the author's photo at the end and you try and like piece together a little bit of their story but like how they write and what they look like 
I did not get like happy go lucky energy from it because no, it's a he's very a loaded boy. book. He's, so a, he's a massive sweetie. I'm very boy. happy to hear that. I remember um, I actually read it um, in Yamba. Do you guys know where Yamba is? No. Is it near Lightning Ridge? It's near Byron <laughs> Bay. Okay. It's like an hour south. South. And okay. I remember I just like I was on a beach holiday, but I couldn't stop reading the book. Mm. It's my favorite book. That yeah. guy was reading, and I was. I had a great holiday with my friends and I, they were like, get out of the book. And I was like, no, no, <laughs> don't. No. no. Oh my gosh. I, that was like me. The last book I read, which is my other mm. one that I brought is The Reading List by mm-hmm. Sarah Nisha Adams. And this book, uh, oh my God. Like, I don't even know <laughs> how to, it's, it's, it's pretty much just about this guy who's, wife has passed away it's set in england whose wife has passed away and he kind of befriends this um lethargic librarian who's having issues with her mother kind of thing Mm. and neither of them have read before or anything and they she the librarian finds this reading list of all these really amazing books like the kite runner rebecca life of pi kind of thing and mukesh the man is looking for book recommendations and she doesn't know any books really even though she's a librarian and then she gives him to kill a mockingbird which is the first book on the list and he starts reading them as a way to kind of be in tune again with his past wife because she really really liked reading and also a way to kind of reconnect with his grandchildren um or his daughters i mean and then the librarian she has like all this stuff going on and she's a young girl and then she starts reading the books as well and then it develops into this really beautiful nuanced relationship between um the man mukesh and alicia the librarian and it's kind of just like about the power of reading and how everyone can get something different out of their books and how Mm. it kind of brings people together but also puts you in your own world and it's just like it's it's one of the best books I've ever read. Like, it was really, really beautiful. Made me cry. That's only happened three <sighs> times in books. So, yeah, I, li- yeah I, I, I really, really liked the reading list. Highly, highly recommend. It, would that be in your God tier? Your uh, tier no, list? it would be. We made tier list. <laughs> you have a God tier list. We made yeah. a tier list. I made a, <laughs> I made and a I list. copied him and made a tier list yeah. of the books I've read this year. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's on my phone. Mm-hmm. I've, but I made different, like, levels. Yeah. Like, the first one, I don't remember mm. what my tier list was, but like I remember the second one is Slay. Slay? <laughs> no, it's, li- yeah. It the was first one, no, the first one was like, I think I called it like God tier. Mm. Second one's like, Slay, mm. like it's like Slay. Oh, know? right, yes. Yeah. Slay. Okay, now, slay. okay, now I get it. Yeah, oh, yeah, you have like, to do the The next one's like, <laughs> Slay. The next one's like, yeah, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Next <laughs> no, one. but it was so funny because she'd only read like four books at that point. So <laughs> she I love had that like, you have a tier she list. She had like six tiers and they were like all in just like two or three. <laughs> the rest of them were empty. <laughs> it's like, babe, what are you doing? And then there's mine, which is like this like updates. grandiose kind of thing I with so many. And my bottom one, I don't know, I don't care if she has, but it was would recommend to my stepmother. That was my bottom. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then we've Savage. got, you know, actually the book that was in this one, um, it goes, okay, and then it goes, so bad that it's good. Like it's. Oh, I love yeah. those books open. that like yeah. are so bad that like you, you find enjoyment out of it. Of course. It's hilariously bad. Yeah. The bottom one is Burn It. So the one that's in, <laughs> <laughs> the one that's in so awful that Are you, so you going to gonna say? You... The one that's in so awful that it's good okay. is, Three six five days. <laughs> I cannot believe you read three six five. The movie is right there. The oh my fucking God. book is so poorly written. You want to really? know really? a line yeah. from it? My heart really? was beating like the applause at a Beyonce concert. <laughs> it I'm, sounds like I'm not even like... seeing that dialogue. <laughs> it was literally what Pad published. Like it literally sounds like so, like one of the some of the best lines out of 50 shades yeah that's it's like the color it would, of the communist manifesto you, yes uh, you should compare 365 days to 50 shades because i feel like 365 days is our generations 50 shades yeah Do you but know the what book I mean? is the book is crazy though because this I've could be so bad book. it is good that's true there's a different line really okay there's a different line the book him like in the movie they made it for an international audience right yeah but the book was not for an international audience it was for like more of a niche audience right and so the what book audience him is that is so intense he like cap he threatens to kill her entire family oh. and he like has eyes on her family 
if oh. she like escapes, he said he will kill all of them. Oh. I think he kidnapped so her. So like or BDSM something. kind of energy. And then, <laughs> what is that? What it is? <laughs> oh, you didn't think it's energy. Sorry. And then he's like, I'm gonna respect your consent, but he kind of does some like sketchy things. So I'm kind of like, oh. So I like the so you movie placed him, him more than the yeah. book him. Okay. It was Good very know. problematic, the book. Incre- well, it and that's crazy. why it's ended up in your lovely... So bad like that it's good. Yeah, so I, bad that I it's good. I only have heart for it because of the movie. Okay. I've s- uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I say that for you. I'm just <laughs> obsessed with, like, Europe. Like, I just want to Europe, go yeah, sure. So that's what <laughs> <laughs> You're obsessed with I'm Europe. I'm obsessed with things in Europe. <laughs> Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, moving well, on. on that bombshell, <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to our sponsored book of the week. <laughs> we do have a sponsor. So excited for this one. I love this book. I know you. I know. So our sponsored book of the week is Fast and Fury series by <gasps> Chantel Fernando, oh of which the final book in the series, Custom Love, has just dropped. <gasps> Nadia has always been in charge of her life. As a private investigator, she makes her own hours and only takes on cases that she wants to work on. But when a family friend asks her to look into a case, she instantly regrets it because it hits too close to home. The last thing she wants to do is rip open old wounds, especially trades, the single father that she's been spending time with. It isn't long before she's falling not just for him, Sounds but like for I'm the kids. Like this. You, you dad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely up your alley, babe. But using her connections... Uh, Nadia uncovers evidence of a conspiracy that will leave everyone shaken and force her and Trey to do whatever it takes to keep their new family safe. It's a thrilling conclusion to the New York Times bestselling author Chantel Fernando's Fast and Fury series, fully loaded with intense emotions and on the edge of your seat suspense. And it is our sponsored book of the week. Oh my... Wait, how many are there how in the series? Three, a trilogy, a trilogy. It's a trilogy, oh so a trilogy to get engrossed in. There will be links in the description, by the way. Wait, so no. you can. <laughs> I actually like after I finished. No, after I finished the Kite Runner, like I'm definitely jumping over. I haven't even read this book, but like I already love it. No, like it's literally. <laughs> like, it I sounds like it's written for you. Started, as soon like, as you I'm heard Single Father, <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'm jumping yeah. in. Well, that's yeah, Fire yeah. and Fury. Oh. Fast and Fury. Fast and Fury. Fast and Fury. Fast and Fury. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong fire. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that that is definitely staying in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I my favorite part of that that book actually was. Uh, you read the it? cars. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I'm loving like the action of the cars and like Tokyo yeah, drifting and stuff. She needs to have a car. <laughs> like they do their Tokyo drifts. They do like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 really Moving on. Well, we're going to close out this ridiculous podcast yeah. that we've been doing, which I have been loving every minute of, yeah. with a bunch of ridiculous <laughs> questions about yeah. books. Yeah. Which I'm now going to throw to you. It's book scenarios. There are no right or wrong. Actually, no, sorry. Having heard Ruby's taste, and there might be a wrong answer. <laughs> but I will start off this with is the. <laughs> Guys, this is a bad representation. Okay, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what is the perfect idea of a, of a night with a book for you? Oh, okay. Perfect. One. perfect. Per- honestly, honestly, <laughs> it's for me, I really romanticize reading with other people, like under fairy lights outside kind of thing. But Ooh. you end up doing that. No, I'm sorry, but you end up doing that. You talk to each other and you have a bit. Like, it doesn't <laughs> end up working. Say that, it yeah. does not end up working for me. So, post shower, I've watched a little bit of TV and winding down. I have about an hour, half an hour before I want to go to sleep. I'll snuggle up in my bed in my pajamas and I read. Mm-hmm. That is the, that is literally the best awesome. with a, with a, with a nice cold water with ice in my water bottle. Like that's <laughs> literally all of it. Like the most simple post shower though. I would never read in my bed if I'm dirty. <laughs> no, Pivoting exactly. that, Ruby, is that the same scenario that you go for, or are you uh, into something else? <laughs> cut the cameras. <laughs> cut, cut the mic. I feel like, I feel like the, 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 the entire conversation over the whole podcast has led to this point. <laughs> what do I like to do? Um, so I got COVID. I actually got it last year before everyone else got mm, it. So that's funny. a bit of a flex. Mm. <laughs> weird flex. Yeah, <laughs> weird flex, but okay. And I was just at home for like eight days um, just reading. Like I did nothing, but I just oh, read the great. whole time. Mm, yeah. And yeah, I just read the whole time, went in the pool, 
red, sunbaked. It was just so good. Oh I did because I, I couldn't do anything but read. Yeah. Bliss. And it was just bliss. Absolute bliss. That sounds so I like that. Good. Okay, next one. Mm-hmm. You are stuck in a terrible lecture that rolls on for three hours and the lecturer is speaking in a very monotone voice that makes everything sound exactly the same. Mm-hmm. You are using your textbook to hide the actual book that you are reading. What cheat book do you bring with you? Your dad will do. <laughs> <laughs> See, the problem is, is you, if you bring a book You'd like that, you get frustrated in the, in the lecture room, yeah, on you. That's true. Because <laughs> you might get like, you might get a little flustered. Because I know Ruby gets like, very Ruby red. She gets very red. I actually when do. When she's you know, worked up. So, <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to bring a really, like, sexy book. I, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> no, I, would I wouldn't get... do that. I wouldn't no. do that. I don't, don't want to, like, do something that makes it look like I'm very focused. Um, yeah. I, me- I reckon I bring... <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I bring, bring Cloud <laughs> Street. I think Cloud Street, it's my, Tim, it's my comfort book. Tim, Tim Winton. Tim, so yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, my, it's my comfort book. I just... I love it a lot kind of thing. And I can always, like, return back to it. And even if, like, yeah... Cloud Street every time kind of thing. Oh, the cyclical nature. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the duality it's of got, man. Absolutely. Society. Anyway, you need to go and have a read. Actually, yeah, kind of. The dichotomy of spiritual fish and regular fish. Sounds deep. Yeah. It's, wow. Have you not read Cloud Street? No, I haven't read Cloud Street. Re- like, honestly, really good. Ashley didn't love it. She only... Anyway, but... <laughs> I get you Ashley. just keep saying Ashley, but... What? Is that... We don't know who Ashley is. We don't my know friend, who Ashley is. my book friend. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. The one who you reconnected with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right, yeah. Right, right. The bully. It's the bully like one. Your roommate or something. No, no, no. So would you actually bring your dad? Would do to a? Uh, no, I would not. <laughs> people, because people would read over your shoulder, be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, and then yeah. he. <laughs> like, I get shy even in the bus. Like, I know these bitches can see behind me. So I I'm do like, not. I do not. Um, so what do you actually bring? Yeah. Um, like I read, like probably um. Books are not like that. <laughs> Your philosophy um, book. <laughs> I read Karl Marx in a lecture. No, so books like you um, can. I mean, if you if you yeah, want, if you're that emotionally, books? if you're that invested in the academic text, you actually can. Yeah. I won't. I won't. I won't shame you for that. Um, this actually, I would read books like this book called Shantaram. Okay. 900 pages. Oh. It's an amazing book. I haven't finished How it yet, though. How are you going to fit that behind How a textbook? How are you going to fit that behind a textbook? You have to think logistically, Ruby. I'm sorry. I want to tell you about this book, though. Okay. So <laughs> it's, it's really good. It's amazing. Everywhere I go, someone stops me and goes, I read that in three days. That was amazing. Whoa. Wow. Because the book, it's um, Australian, guy in the 80s. Mm-hmm. This is, he says it's like... Um, fiction but it's very very closely based on his life Mm -hmm. Mm. so he's just kind of saying fiction so he doesn't get arrested Mm. again so he's in jail right melbourne Mm. prison 80s he breaks out of jail he flees to india he lives his whole other life in india and then he gets in this band and he travels through europe and he gets really famous and then he gets captured in germany on tour (gasps) that's this crazy life that he's lived in like 20 years before he got captured again that sounds amazing it's Shantaram. Truly amazing. He's had this like you've actually got good taste, experience. Ruby. You actually do. Like contrary to popular belief, contrary to what the contrary listeners to what believe right yeah, now. Contrary, contrary to what, what the what listeners what believe right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. She did recommend me Boy Swallows Universe. So I'm forever grateful to Arlene. Yeah, Thank you. I like most it. of the books I read are books like that. Like yeah, <laughs> sure. the other books are a minority. <laughs> <laughs> a minority that we've been hearing a whole hell of a yeah. lot about. <laughs> 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 it's like it's too good for me right now. Uh, okay, so. You have a bookshelf at home. I do. You do? Good. Do you have a bookshelf at home? I do. Mm-hmm. So if you have, you know, or you choose to have a bookshelf at home, how would you organise it? Alphabetically, colour. by genre or category, by colour, or is it just a case of where the book goes? You already said colour, but... Colour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? Is that what it's like at your home now? No. It's a class But book, I want it? to. Yeah. It's books every... Because the task. thing is, a right... Task. A lot of my, like, older books are in Kayama. So I'm from Kayama. Mm. And we're knocking down that house Uh and, like, rebuilding it. So my mom's like, which books do you want to keep? You can keep three. And I'm like... Three. So she's donating like thirty-five books. I feel like that's a that crime. Read halfway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's probably bought all of them for you for your fucking birthday. But we're donating it, so, oh, so it's okay. okay. okay so it's like right. yeah. people. So it's like mm. democratizing reading. So how are you going to organize the three books that you have left over? <laughs> <laughs> I so I have um, uh, 
they're at my dad's house at the moment. Mm-hmm. They're in like a little study and they're just like shoved on top of each other, just stacked. And then they're just stacked on top of each other at the moment. And Sh- the books that I bring around with me, they're just like in the bottom of my bag getting like oh. tossed around. Oh, sacrilege. But f- so basically you're saying for your future inevitable bookshelf that you'll have in your house, you will organise it by colour. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. I like that. Mine is by the general vibe. That's how we do it at the house. Like it's like we've got Taylor Jenkins Reid next to Sally Rooney because like that color. makes sense. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, it, that makes sense. I feel like it's a lot about what the author gives off as well, like mm. the types of. So I'd say maybe by genre, but like, but some books by like um, love stories, I believe, by Trent Dalton. It's not next to Boys no. Swallows Universe. No, it wouldn't. Be. Not, it wouldn't be. Never. Like, are you kidding? We've got Boy Swallows Universe next to, um, like, We Are the Ants and, like, Aristotle and Dante. Kind of, like, Dante, yeah. like, kind of, like, the coming of age. So it's that energy. And then we've got, like, the elite books that we all really love. Like, our favourites. We've got Song of Achilles and A Little Life kind of mm. next to our picture of Brendan Fraser. So by <laughs> the vibes <laughs> is how it would it would go for sure. And it would be knickknacks in there as well. Uh, you know what I mean? I like it. Yeah. Oh, you, just, you just transported me back to 2001 with mentioning of Brendan. Oh, yeah, <laughs> The Mummy, the my mummy, favourite movie. The best. Um, if you had to meet one, and I emphasise one, fictional character, who would it be? Is it, wait, is it like a, are we, is there like a relationship No, prospect? just meeting. Okay. Oh, oh, well, you can, it could be relationship prospect if you want. Who's the porn reader now? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Alex Exposed. from Red, 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 Royal Blue. I was going to say Alex, but. You can only have one. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, but. um. Evelyn Hugo from the Seven Husbands oh, of Evelyn. Yeah. Great she, we Great would, kid. we would. When she's old, like when she's discussing with I her, I haven't read that yet. Really so good, to. dude. Like <laughs> I would, I would chat to her about everything, and then maybe she would. Uh, I don't want to spoil, but yeah, um, for sure, Evelyn. I feel like that's a pretty standard answer, but I feel like she's, and I know she's got the stories to tell for it. So Evelyn mm. Hugo, I'd make her dinner. I'd make her some of my kung pao chicken. I reckon she'd really like that. And then we'd sit, we'd have a chat with some glasses of cold water, Kung Pao chicken, and just have a chat. Oh, it sounds amazing. Yeah, it sounds really good, actually. Rubes. <laughs> <laughs> say it. I don't want to say it. Say it. <laughs> Come on. No shame. I have to think It's for It's Christian Grey, like isn't it? It's Christian Grey. No, he is. Or Edward so Cullen, or one of them. Aldi. White bread, flavorless <laughs> Like, I don't what? know. Like, clean, unused petri dish. Like, too I, clean. Yeah, he, he is. Like, like he is too clean. They, no, they want, yeah, it's not like. And he has like issues because he's like only likes girls who look like his mom. Well, seeing as you've said that oh. you meant that you, you saw Liam Hemsworth recently, uh, who's the character in Hunger Games that he plays? Gail. Gail. Yeah. Would, you, would you meet Gail? Maybe for 15 minutes Why behind the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did end up becoming a, like, you know, contributed to a, you know, a whole bunch of kids dying. So. I actually, <laughs> That's true, actually did read The Hunger Games. I yeah, me too. I'm gonna... You've read them too, Nick? I've read, um... I have read The Hunger Games, actually. It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. Um, books, books were better than the movie. I feel like such a cliche saying that. I feel it's like because they shouldn't have cut the last one into two. That's true. They I shouldn't I, have cut the last one into two. I, I think the second movie like was really good. Second movie, second, second movie, movie was really I think good. was better than the second book. Yeah, second to movie. To be honest, was, yeah, second movie. Like, oh my god, I want to go home and watch it. Really slaps. I want to say the dad from Credence. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's okay. And what would you talk about with the dad from Credence, Ruby? How in love with him I am. Oh dear. Oh, that's okay. all right. Look, that's fair. <laughs> Professing your love. As long as no one get, t- as long as no one gets hurt and you have fun. That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. <laughs> you would have a lot of fun with him, I reckon. <gasps> no, no, no. Like you have a good chat. <gasps> you haven't even read the book. <laughs> I've been told to. Have it, wasn't you been very, shamed? it wasn't very been high shamed? on her tier list, and she's trying to recommend it to me. I'm I'm it's slay. It's definitely it's, slay tier. It's on a slay I'm, level. It's not god tier. Credence it's slay tier. Slay. Okay. It's slay tier. I honestly okay. think for you, slay. your slay tier is where your actual favorite books are, and no. then books you know are well written are in good god tier. The ones that the god tier books are books where I like finish reading. I'm like that impacted me. Like yeah. my other books on there are Mouse. Mm-hmm. It's this. Oh yes, ca- Mouse. This cartoonist who wrote his father's story of the mm. Holocaust. Yeah. Through, mm. And it's truly so moving. Yeah. It's most effective compelling concise 
Great beautifully team. explained uh, story of the Holocaust I mm. think that's ever been written. Like it's oh. yeah, it's amazing. Truly amazing. It's, really, it's really good. Ah. It is. Yeah. It's really good. It's one of those like we, we had to study it in school. Mm. It gives you a sense of how old I am. Um, we had to study it in school and it was one of those texts that you like actually want to come back to. <gasps> wow. It's I really interesting. Like the, that and V for Vendetta. Mm. We're, we're yeah, reading true. the graphic the graphic novel V for Vendetta was uh, amazing. Oh, I've only seen the movie. The graphic novels amazing. Really? Really, really good. Re- yeah, God. like there are a lot of like scenes, like sections in Mouse that just like get to you. Like you see the way he draws mm. the mice, like the so the yeah, anyway. <laughs> is there like dying yeah. and they're slowly dying and mm. it's just the most like i don't know how yeah. but it just captures so much mm. in just a drawing mm. and it just like it stays it's with intense you. it stays with you yeah. it stays with you i'm not sure i'm mentally prepared for that but maybe later in the year okay. i'll work my way up to mouse for sure stuff's been happening yeah in the world. you should treat yourself occasionally yeah yeah well with our last question <laughs> so you get uh, you get kicked out of uni <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it's impending. You get kicked out of uni, yeah, but you get invited to go to a fictional school. If you could go to any fictional school in any fictional world, what school would it be? Don't and you I dare say Hogwarts. I would no, no, I was, be to do again. I was so I tempted to, to say, you. and you can't you have Hogwarts. Millennial, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, let me think. Let me think. I might. I might need some time to think. I might need some time to think on this one. Then um, I'll throw any Ruby first for this. Yeah. One. I have absolutely no idea. I don't read books that were in like high school. What? If there's a school, well, my yeah. answer would be if there's a school in like Asgard. You know, like yeah. You oh. know, I actually like because oh, you'd be a don't god. Don't know anything yeah. about Harry there, Potter. There, I'd go there. Let me. Let you me. don't know anything about Harry Potter. Yeah. What? That's all right. I've Look, never read the books, and that's okay. I, like, you don't have to. You don't have movies, to read the books. I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. Someone forced me to watch them, and I didn't want to. Look, you don't have to. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Mm. I'm not going to shame you for that. I. Uh, this is like the least judgmental space I've ever been in when I <laughs> said that I don't like Harry Potter. <laughs> no, yeah, baby. So look, I mean, wait, it's a. No, are you wait, trying to feel like I'm you. getting crucified? Wait. <laughs> well, look, here's, wait, here's wait, the thing. Like Harry, say that. Here's Did the you? thing. Here's the thing. Like, we don't. We we sometimes you you may click with the book and you may not. Mm-hmm. That's just how mm-hmm. it works. The simple have, truth. Of it. Do you like the movies? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, literally. Anyway, circling back to your question, Nick, that's a lot of sacrilege there. But I would just drop out. <laughs> that's I would. It for me. You, you get. You just drop out. You yeah, I'd, I'd be like, like, I'm like, done nah, with Come school. on, there's so many great like I have schools or whatever. We the the book The House in the Cerulean Sea, where it's like the little adoption centre, but it's like half school as well. For, that's cool. For monster, for like little little. Okay, I don't know how to just describe it but it's like they're on an island and it's little monster children who are shunned and exiled ostracized from the people on the mainland right Mm. this guy comes in and then he has to teach them and like look after them kind of thing that is the school i would go to but i think i would be i would be like a tutor i think that would be the energy because i'm already look i'm already 22 i think if i got kicked out of uni now i just accept my fate but if i did have to go to uni again i would just be a tutor Mm. I would teach them podcasting, oh, little shucks. critters. I don't know how the I don't know how the guy with the jellyfish head would be able to podcast, but I think he'd figure it out. You'd so. figure out a way to do it. Yeah, and it's a really lovely like they've got a gazebo, a little forest, and there's like a fairy or some shit there, and she's a lesbian, lesbian fairy, and yeah, I, th- I would I would go to the house in the Cerulean Sea and chill with the monster children and teach them things. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah. a nice response. Yeah. I approve of that. Yeah. And on that bombshell, we've sadly come to the end of of this oh. podcast. Oh. I know. I that know. actually does make me a little bit sad. Oh, good chat, guys. I know. <laughs> Solid chat. We have learned a lot about each other today. Bit Thanks too much. Thank. <laughs> 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 a little bit too much. <laughs> 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 but thank you so much to Adam Fertle and Ruby McKinty from the Media and Communications Society. If you are look, if you are a uni student and looking for books, guess what? Booktopia has a back to uni sale on right now. You can head to the link in the description and use our textbook finder and find all of your book needs for this upcoming semester. Also, keep an eye out for our next student discussion podcast, which will be in the next coming few weeks. And if you happen to be on TikTok, 
head over to Booktopia's TikTok because Adam and Ruby will be on there for the next couple of days getting up to some fun shenanigans. The ones yeah. that got approved. <laughs> the ones that got approved. <laughs> yeah. there, was a, there was an eclectic mix. There um, was a very eclectic <laughs> mix. Did you see the one about Mr. Darcy? Of course I saw the one about Mr. Darcy. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much for you. having us, um, the team at Booktopia, and Nick specifically, um, especially for coming over all the way to our home hometown. Our humble home. It's giving hometown glory, Adele, mm-hmm. energy. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for having Thank us. You. Thank you. It's been a pleasure for me to host you as you host me. Yay, there we go. <laughs> so stay tuned for our next episode next Wednesday when we're doing a special podcast on the working world and societal change. We'll be chatting with Lisa Leong and Monique Ross on their book, This Working Life, and then sitting down with artist Ben Quilty to discuss his beautiful collection on friction and violence, free fall. Thanks for listening and never stop reading.